Audio Jungle. Fine. So <clears throat> the question is, they had asked this question. They had asked in get get. I think it was uh, two thousand fifteen problem. Okay, for two marks column. Very rare question they had asked. Okay. In previous year question paper, if you check, very rare question they had asked. Still now, I think in uh, 10 to 15 years, four or five questions they had asked. So you have to solve. And uh, whatever I had discussed uh, in last lecture for the four cases, the formula, if you remember, and equivalent length, if you remember, then definitely you will be able to solve the problems. Now we'll see this problem. So the question is a 200, a 200 mm. long simply supported column simply supported column has 5 mm by 10 mm rectangular cross section okay young modulus of the material they have given to us it is how much 200 gigapascal 200 gigapascal assuming assuming a factor of safety assuming a factor of safety of 2.5 corresponding to corresponding to the buckling load and and maximum load in newton they have given in newton okay the column can support in compression is this is the fill in the blank for two marks okay so uh, simply here if you read the problem so it is clearly mentioned okay it is clearly mentioned that it's a long column long long simply supported column okay long simply supported column so <coughs> Simply supported column means what? See, I have explained both ends are fixed, both ends are hinged. One end fixed, another is end is hinged. One end is fixed, another end is free. These are the four cases. Now the new word they have used here: simply supported. So what is the mean of simply supported? So simply supported column simply supported column it's nothing but it's a hinge support okay always remember it's a hinge support that means hinged column okay hinged column anyway and <coughs> so here the column is what something like this see 
okay clearly they have mentioned the column is what simply supported so this is the hinge here this is the hinge here this is the simply supported column this is the column okay 200 mm that length they have given for us length of the column they have given 200 mm l they have given 200 mm e they have given 200 gigapascal or you can write 200 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square i have explained you how to convert this unit and all okay we are solving this problem so and this column they have given the dimension if you check this column dimension is clearly they have mentioned it's a rectangular column check rectangular column and the cross section is what 5 mm cross 10 mm and length they have given 200 mm so it's a if you check length into width okay so length they have given us uh, 200 mm so width and height they have given so if you check this column that dimension dimension wise so this is nothing but 10 mm length and this length is nothing but 5 mm means if you draw the column so column will be like this check Okay. this length they have given us 200 this length they have given 10 mm length into width into height so this is nothing but 5 mm all right for this column now one more thing they have given here in the problem e they have given the factor of safety f f, f o s they have i had explained what is the factor of safety in my previous lecture and how to uh, relate with the ultimate or maximum loading and uh, working loading with this factor of safety that i had explained correspond to the buckling load and maximum load here it is mentioned okay fine the column can support uh, can support in compression is the column can support in compression is so basically what they are asking can support means that what maximum compression load can support that's the mean of it what maximum compression load can support okay now now so here they are asking basically the pcr critical loading uh, and that maximum loading they are asking because pcr that buckling load is the pcr load right you can get easily but with the help of uh, factor of safety the corresponding to the maximum load and uh, corresponding to the buckling load and maximum load the column can support in compression so the maximum load that column can support in compression they are asking so actually here they are asking the maximum load fine now so that factor of safety first of all you should know i had explained in previous lecture what is the factor of safety so factor of safety is the basically you can say allowable stress okay allowable stress or uh, allowable load okay or you can say in terms of uh, loading 
that uh, here like they have given buckling loading right buckling loading they have given yes so buckling load and maximum loading that uh, that value they have given here so fos in terms of this given data i'm just going to write so fos is nothing but buckling load divided by maximum load that's the meaning of it okay so <clears throat> what is the buckling load it's a critical loading divided by maximum load means fos is nothing but pcr divided by p max now <clears throat> there is no doubt always remember here pcr which is the critical loading means where the buckling are going to uh, buckling of the column going to start that is the pcr so pcr is always greater and greater than uh, p max whatever the maximum load it can sustain without any buckling okay so pcr is always always greater than p max in in comparison what maximum load it can start without buckling that's the mean of p max okay anyway so now if you want to calculate p max that value they are asking so you need the to write previous slide uh, pcr divided by fos factor of safety <laughs> pcr divided by factor of safety all right and then sir yes now so fos is given p max you need to calculate this value you need to calculate fx fos is given need to find anyhow if you know the pcr your problem will be solved now what is the pcr that buckling loading for the column check this is nothing but simply supported column that means hinged column so for hinged column that formula you know hmm? for the hinged column both ends are hinged so if you check this was the first case and if you remember uh, remind this what was the formula so formula was pi square ei divided by l square e they have given length of column they have given i you need to calculate okay now <clears throat> that column you have seen this is the rectangular bar and for this rectangular bar that dimension if you check they had given here it is 10 mm and this is what 5 mm now for this if we'll calculate i okay so i value what will be the i i you know 1 by 12 or you can say b d cube by 12 this was the value okay check in mm you can calculate 10 into depth is nothing but 5 cube divided by 12 so if you calculate this value how much you will get where is my calculator bd cube by 12 whatever value you will get you just keep that so this is nothing but i okay now <coughs> next you need to find the a pcr so what will be the pcr value check pi square ei divided by l square so this pcr is also p max into fos anyway pcr you need to calculate so pi square e is nothing but check here this value you have calculated i mean e value is how much it is given 200 into 10 power 3 newton per mm square you have converted in mm so 
इट्स टू हंड्रेड इंटू टेन पावर थ्री इंटू आई वैल्यू इट इज वन बाई ट्वेल्व बी इज टेन डेप्थ इज फाइव बी डी क्यू बाई ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाई एल स्क्वायर लेंथ ऑफ द कॉलम दे हैड गिवन इट इज टू हंड्रेड एम एम यू नीड टू सॉल्व इट शुड बी इन एम एम ओनली सो दैट पी सी आर लोड विल बी न्यूटन सो दिस वैल इज वॉट फाइव वन थ्री फाइव न्यूटन या दिस इज द पी सी आर दे आर आस्किंग नाउ पी मैक्स सो पी मैक्स द मैक्सिम लोड मैक्सिम कंप्रेशन लोड वट दैट कॉलम कैन सस्टेन सो इट्स पी सी आर डिवाइड बाई एफ ओ एस here you got here it is 5135 5135 divided by 2.5 this is the p max sir 2054 2054 newton newton yeah so this is the answer right this is gate 2014 for two marks <clears throat> this is very good question actually see structural member of rectangular cross section rectangular cross section ten mm into six mm and length and length one meter is made of made of steel okay young modulus they have given here it is again same value 200 gigapascal and coefficient of thermal expansion coefficient of thermal expansion is 12 into 10 to power minus 6 dig 6 per degree celsius celsius okay it is rigidly it is rigidly fixed at fixed at at both the ends both the ends and and then subjected subjected to a gradual increase in in temperature ignoring the
3D effects. The structural member will buckle if the temperature is if the temperature is increased by by delta T degree Celsius each option nineteen point seven four degrees Celsius Nine point eight seven degrees Celsius, seventy eight point nine seven degrees Celsius, thirty nine point four eight degrees Celsius. This is question, this is very simple question. You have to apply the concept. Read it once. One rectangle, rectangle cross section structural member we have a length, width, height, everything they have given. Young models they have given to us. Coefficient of thermal expansion they have given to us. Why they have given coefficient of thermal uh, expansion? Because it is related to the, it is subjected to the uh, thermal stress. You read it, you will get it. it is rigidly fixed at both ends. That is structural member, they have not mentioned somewhere it is column or something, but you need to read and then automatically you will understand. Both ends are fixed and then subjected to gradual increase in temperature, means it is subjected to the temperature, thermal stress. Okay, ignoring the 3D effects. Ignoring the 3D effects means what is the mean of 3D effects means if you apply the temperature So whatever the changes you may have it will be in all direction, right? It doesn't mean it is it is uh, Changing the length in only one direction But here it is clearly mentioned ignore that 3D effects means we have to consider only you know, that change uh, In length of that structural member in one direction only Okay, fine. The structural member will buckle if the temperature is increased by delta T de degree Celsius, means delta T they are asking. They have mentioned here the structural member will buckle. So from here also, I mean, if you read the statement automatically, you will understand this is the case of the um, column and, and and in column also there are four cases both in fixed both in hinged one in fixed one in hinged one in fixed one in free so check which case it is it is both ends are both ends are uh, fixed see rigidly fixed at both ends now so i will draw the column here even though in exam uh, here in question also they have given the column okay diagram they have given to us so this is both ends it is fixed this is what column and it is fixed length of this column they have given to us one meter okay and it is rectangular column, so obviously this dimension also they have given us. In problem itself it is given, it is 10 mm. And here it is 6 mm, it's 10 by 6.
what will be i for this because i is required so i will write here only bd cube by 12. take all dimension in mm better width and depth 10 into 6 cube by 12 this is what i it is required actually why because this case is what both ends are yes, sir yes dear tell me please the depth uh, we will always take the smaller value hmm very good question see always remember that formula what you have written pcr both in yes. both in fixed okay so if both ends are fixed then what was the formula if you remember i think it was four times of pi square ei divided by l square so whatever the i here you are writing okay whatever i you are calculating here this i should be least i i mean i least in, in in statement also when i had explained this yes, sir. Of, uh, so this should be least value even though pre previous column also okay okay better you ask question this because this is important to tell you here also in this problem they had not given the diagram in this problem they had not given diagram only statement was given why i have taken because clearly they have given the dimension where it is 5 mm by 10 mm so this 5 mm i had taken depth and 10 mm i had taken width but in the same case here also actually here in this problem they had given diagram and with the diagram 6 mm and 10 mm width is 10 mm and depth is 6 mm check what was the dimension they had given it is uh, 10, so then only eight, said huh, 10 into 6. Huh, 10 into 6. So how to decide which will be width and which will be the depth? General method is what length into width into height. It's okay. LBH. No? But here we need to calculate I least or I mean. You can write uh, for this. If you give the dimension 10 mm depth and 6 mm width, then what will be the formula time that time BD cube by 12? And if you are taking 10 mm here depth and 6 mm you are taking width so it will be 6 into 10 to power 3 and that will be the larger value hope you understood my point yes sir so, so uh, always always of will be always least value ha, yes 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 when i had explained all the four cases in my last lecture always in every case every cases all four cases whatever the i you are writing it should be a yes. least value okay it should be a least value minimum value oh. for that reason here it was taken 5 mm was uh, depth so if you write the formula so you will get bd cube by 12 which is nothing but 10 into 5 cube by 12 here 10 into 5 cube by 12 so that you can get minimum value this should be minimum this should be i least least value okay least value of yes, I got it, sir. Uh, m o i you always remember dear okay yes sir, better you asked huh? better you have asked okay now moving ahead so <clears throat> you will calculate this na? 10 into 6 power 3 divided by 12 you will get some value PCR, this is the formula. Now, the question is if you add subject this column with, with the temperature, thermal energy, or you can say with the temperature, so definitely delta T temperature you will be given here. So, because both ends are fixed, so once you give the temperature, then it will try to expand. And thermal expansion for this structural member they have given to us. What is that? 12 into 10 power minus 6. And if you check, check this, coefficient of thermal expansion is what? Positive. That means that material, whatever it is made, whatever the material is what used for this structural member, it will enlarge the size. 
why because thermal expansion is positive thermal expansion is what negative that means if you give the temperature it will uh, shorten the length okay that is the material property maybe material will shorten the length after getting temperature sometimes uh, uh, most of times it will enlarge the length but sometimes because of material property it will shorten the length also okay so here thermal expansion is positive it means very clear this structural member will enlarge the length because of this temperature and that is called as thermal uh, thermal strain stress that already i had discussed okay anyway so one by one we'll go go through it so first we'll calculate i can you tell me what is the value of i here yes sir So it's a 180 mm to power 4. Four. This is the value of I. Now E they have given to us L 1 meter they have given you convert into mm 1000 mm. Hmm? You just calculate the PCR. So what is the PCR now? PCR I square E is given 200 gigapascal. So 2 into 10 power 3 into i just now you have calculated 180 mm to power 4 divided by length square length is 1 meter convert into mm so it will be 1000 square so this pcr is 1419 19.78 0 0.78 newton this is the pcr how to connect this PCR with the thermal expansion? Very simple. Thermal stress I had explained. And what is the use of that thermal stress? If you remember, this is the critical load. This load we can connect with the stress. And they are asking like, like at what temperature it will start buckling. No? Read this. The structural member will buckle if the temperature. So buckling means it will start buckling means deflection you may get. And and at what load it will start buckling? It's a PCR. So PCR you have that is the buckling load you can say. Okay. Now for this PCR, what will be the stress we need to write? And because of the temperature, what is the stress we we will get? That stress, if you equate, then the temperature relation you will get automatically. It's very simple. So we know the thermal stress. In fact, PCR we can write. What is the PCR? It's a critical load. So what is the critical stress? Critical or now here you can write buckling stress. Okay, so it's a sigma CR. What is the sigma CR? It's a stress is nothing but load divided by area. So what is the load? It's a PCR you have here. And that area is nothing but cross section area. So <coughs> check what will be the area. So the block they have given dimension they have given for this block. This block dimension they have given here. It's 10 mm. And it's I think 6 mm. So PCR you have here 1419.78 divided by area is nothing but 10 into 6. So this will be the sigma CR. Hmm. Sir, 23.66 23.66 newton per mm square this is the stress or called buckling stress or because of the load buckling load then how you come up with this formula i mean 
प्रेशर प्रेशर फोर्स एरिया एरिया सिग्मा स्ट्रेस इज़ व्हाट फोर्स पर यूनिट और और लोड पर यूनिट एरिया ओके राइट सो दिस स्ट्रेस व्हिच इज नथिंग बट हियर आई आई हैव रिटर्न बकलिंग स्ट्रेस सो दिस स्ट्रेस आल्सो क्रिटिकल स्ट्रेस एट दिस स्ट्रेस दैट column will start buckling okay this is the uh, uh, sigma cr now this sigma cr will also be equal to and and generally it was fixed at both end there was no problem okay there was no problem where that problem is started that problem is started because of the temperature because you are supplying uh, temperature because that column is what fixed at both end and we when you have started supplying heat to this column then problem is started from there only started in the sense this will try to enlarge the length and then it will uh, try to buckle and how it will buckle it will buckle like this i had explained you that time Uh, when i had explain all four cases so now because of this temperature obviously thermal stress you will get that thermal stress and this thermal stress you need to equate then you will get the value of temperature right so you know very well due to due to change in temperature to the structural member thermal stress will be induced because because member is member is fixed at both end if it is fixed at one end and other end is what free then you will not get any thermal stress you are getting thermal stress because both ends are fixed so what will be the thermal stress if you remember the formula i had given thermal stress thermal stress and that thermal stress i had denoted by sigma T, if you remember, T S yes, thermal stress. What was the formula? Formula was the uh, strain into Young modulus. What was the strain? Alpha into delta T into Young modulus. This is the thermal. This formula already I had given. What is the alpha? It's a thermal coefficient of thermal expansion. so alpha into delta t into young modulus okay this value will be the thermal stress now this thermal stress must be equal to sigma cr critical okay so sigma th is equal to alpha delta t into e now delta t here you can calculate what is the value sigma cr divided by alpha into e so delta t here you have written sigma cr divided by alpha into e all right what is the sigma cr just now you have written sigma cr is 23.66 23.66 divided by alpha alpha is the thermal coefficient coefficient of thermal expansion actually its value is 12 into 10 to the power mi minus 6 per degree celsius 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 Per degree Celsius into Young modulus, they have given 200 gigapascal. Convert into Newton per mm square, so 200 into 10 power 3. Now we will solve this. This value we will get in degree Celsius.
correct so hope you understood this problem uh, yes sir now, so this type of problem will be very simple uh, yes, sir. if you practice then you will be able to approach this type of problem it's very simple only very very simple it's not a difficult it's very simple question they had asked gate Two thousand thirteen. Again, it's two marks. It's a very simple problem. See, in this problem, what they had said? They had said in the steel structure, the steel structure. Young modulus here, it is given 200 gigapascal. <coughs> Shown in the figure. <coughs> All member All member have have circular cross section circular cross section of radius of radius 10 mm column bd is Column BD is pinned at is pinned at B and D means means both in ends are pinned or hinged you can say all right the support at A is hinged. The support at A is hinged. The minimum value the minimum value of load P of load P at which the column BD may buckle may buckle in Newton's is approximately approximately it's a fill in the blank problem and as they have clearly mentioned as shown in figure so the figure is c this is column bd It is hinged or pinned at both ends okay
see they have set uh, the column bd so this is what b they have given in the uh, diagram b and d they have clearly mentioned and it is hinged at hinged or pinned huh? b and d b and d both are pinned the support at a is also hinged okay so this is support a and here also it is hinged it is hinged here see this is hinged circle i have given dot hinged the minimum value at of load p at which the column bd may buckle column bd so this what should be this load p okay for that minimum load of p that column bd may buckle so we'll write the length so the length of column here it is given two meter this is one meter this is also one meter. it's a very simple problem so column bd is the column and at both ends this column are uh, column ends are hinged okay at both end now they are asking what should be the minimum value of load p what should be the value of load p at which the column bd may buckle that is the question the value of p they are asking and it should be in newton this is the problem okay now check now <coughs> this is the solution see check okay this is the load p here it is hinged here also it is hinged at this point check this dimension they have given us one meter here also it is one meter and this is two meter right so we need to find what is the minimum load p for which the column may <coughs> buckle check this is nothing but here d or b check wait this is what uh, this is d okay this is what d this is the b and this is what a for bd is the column okay at which both ends both ends are hinged okay both ends are hinged or you can say pinned this b and d so <clears throat> what is the uh, procedure for uh, this solution what are the steps so steps are very simple see you know both ends are you can say it is hinged so and that length is also known l for this so in this situation what is the pcr if both ends are hinged it's a pi square ei by l square this is the formula all right now <clears throat> so anyhow we need to relate this load p in, uh, at pcr and p we have to relate okay and then because column dimension they have given e is given length is given so you will able to find the value of uh, pcr which and that pcr will be in terms of p hope you understood what we are going to do here okay and it is also clearly mentioned that each and every component like bd or ab okay these are the uh, circular cross section and they have given the radius radius they have given how much radius of the column uh, radius they have given 10 mm uh, the column bd okay 
So <clears throat> for the column BD, if we we'll calculate uh, moment of inertia, so it will be pi by 64 into d to power 4, I think. So we need to find first what is the moment of inertia. In mm only, you need to calculate. Six. 490.6 mm to power 4. What diameter you have taken? Oh, sir, actually I have taken Sir, oh, sir, actually I have taken Sir, wait, sir, wait. Sir, hmm. sir, wait, sir, wait. So, tell me once again, what is the value you are getting? Diameter will be 20 Seven, mm. 7850. Seven, 7850. 7850. This is the radius. Diameter will be 20 mm, right? Diameter will be? Yes, sir. 20 mm. So this is the moment of yes, energy sir. of this column. E is given. L is given 2 meter. Okay. So anyhow, this PCR, if you able to relate with this P, then automatically you will get the value of P. And that value of P will be the minimum value to buckle the column BD. All right. Now the next uh, step is what? How to connect this PCR with the P? I mean, how you will be able to get this value? Very simple. Check this problem. Now, <clears throat> this column is what uh, hinged at this point. So, definitely because this is the this portion A, B and you just say C. So A, B, C, it will be treated like, like a beam because it's a horizontal structure member. And B, D is a column. So here the overall reaction you may get. I can say this reaction is nothing but R, D. Right? This reaction is nothing but R, D. Number one. Number two. Whatever the RD, you can place this RD here also. Or we just say, because this beam, which is nothing but A, B, C, is what hinged at this point at the same time. So you will get a reaction force at this point. This reaction will be equal to RD. And you just say, this is RB. It's your choice if you want to say this is RB because you are considering this column weight is what negligible. So whatever the reaction RB, same value will be RD also. No doubt about it. Hmm? Because it's the same and you are considering there is no weight of the column BD. It's negligible. So one reaction force for this ABC beam. ABC structural member is the horizontal member and I'm treating it is like a beam. So for beam, one reaction force you will get at this point at point B. Another reaction force you will get at point this. This is what R A. So anyhow, if you able to calculate this R B reaction, okay? If R B you will get, this R B will be equal to P C R. Yes or no? So this R B will be equal to P C R. Means here this load and this load okay so this will be nothing but rb which is also rd and this is also rb is equal to rd and this must be equal to pcr so how to get this reaction force what you will do for it again it's very simple we can take moment Okay, we can take moment about hinge support and that hinge support is nothing but A. So we can take moment about A because if you take moment about, because why I'm not taking moment about B because I'm interested to calculate uh, reaction at B. So if I will take moment, then definitely RB I will not get if I will take moment about B. So for that reason, I'm taking moment about A. Why I'm not taking about moment about point D? Again, because if I will take moment about point D, then again, I will not get RD or RB. My interest is what in RD and RB, not RA. RA is one reaction for it's okay, but I'm, I'm not interested about it. I'm interested about RB and RD. RB and RD both are same. 
So what I can say, we'll write the force balance. So what is the force balance check? I can say RA plus RB. I'm, see RD and RB both are same. I'm taking RB. I'm considering RB value. So RA and RB uh, both are in upward direction. And this B is what in down, downward direction. So summation of force in Y direction equal to zero. And if you do algebraic sum, so RA and RB, okay, is equal to load P, is equal to load P. This is equation one. Similarly, I can say next taking moment about point A. Point A is the hill support, so we can take moment about A. So moment about A make it equal to zero. Okay, so take moment about A. See, so <coughs> this RB into one meter length, and this RB will give anti-clockwise about point A. Hence, you will have, you will have minus RB into one, and this load P will take moment about A and this P load will give clockwise moment about point A. So P plus because of the clockwise plus P into what is the distance? One meter is here and one meter is here. So it will be plus P into two meter is equal to zero. What is the RB? RB is nothing but two and <coughs> If we check this value, 2, two P. P, right, 2 P. Two P. So now RB you got 2 P. Already I have told you this RB or you can say this is RD or you can also say RB and RD or you can say it is PCR. So ultimately you got PCR, this value. And what is this value? It's nothing but 2P. Now <clears throat> you have the master formula for both in, hence this is the PCR formula. PCR value you got 2P. Now your problem is what solved. Pi square, EI, L square, PCR you have calculated 2P pi square e is 200 gigapascal make it 2 into 10 power 3 i just know you have calculated for the circular cross section diameter is 20 mm 7850 you got i 7850 and length of the column here it is nothing but meter so all value like young modulus and all you are writing in mm so this will be 2 into 10 to power 3 mm square so what will what will be the value of p this value is 19 34.9 34.9 yes yes Understood? Yes, sir.